What is going on lads, it's the Kefalos here and today we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Mass Effect here on the channel But before we do that folks, um, I need to deliver you some news uh, as I promised of uh, Mass Effect Legendary Edition Which I said that I'm going to be doing on a daily basis with whatever I know, whatever I hear I'm going to update you here on the channel So uh, first off, uh, I need to say if you're going to enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like As well as hit that big subscribe button down below for me Because it really helps me out a lot and I'll be super super appreciative of your support on my small and humble channel <laughs> Um no so yeah um okay that's 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 a little bit of a sales pitch all right so anyway um let's uh let's let me talk about uh first things first is the title so um youtube has 100 100 words title so i'm not too sure if this title sounds very clickbaity um i just tried my best with what i have uh, what i what what i can fit into that 100 words title so uh, do let me know your thoughts if you found this uh, title very misleading let me know so that i can amend it and probably and uh, well not probably and i will definitely use that type of format uh, um the amended format going forward so that i don't sound like i'm trying to clickbait you um all right so anyway um, the news that I want to deliver regarding Mass Effect Legendary Edition is that there will be two things cut from Legendary Edition. Now, what are the two things? They're very minor things, so it shouldn't be um, something that really is a deal breaker for you uh, that that drives you not to buy it. So it sh you you shouldn't um, you shouldn't feel that way if you're thinking about getting a Legendary Edition. Um, basically, the two things that are cut. The first thing is in Mass Effect 1, it's Pinnacle Station DLC. Now, for those of you who don't know what Pinnacle Station DLC is, um, it should be on your screen right now, the article as well as some snapshots of it. Uh, for those of you who know and you're not interested in the news, you could probably skip for, skip ahead to um, the gameplay of this playthrough, which should be uh, uh, a timestamp time, a time should be on your screen right now. And yeah, uh, you could. I, I believe it. I believe there's one in the description as well. So uh, anyway, as I was saying, um, Pinnacle Station DLC. It's basically something that is very, very avoidable. Um, very missable, I should say. It's not really, um, not really that important in my opinion. And you, for the most part, it's very forgettable. So uh, basically, what Pinnacle Station DLC is, it's basically um, a, a space station in one of the clusters in Mass Effect One. Um, it provides you with uh, some sort of a simulator, I believe. Yeah, um, some sort of shooting simulator. Um, you could do it. You could you could go and uh, hold, you could go and try your skills there and stuff like that. And um, I don't think it has major effects on the story. It's basically like a side quest, so it's not really too important. It's uh, uh, excuse me, I just had lunch. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, it's not really too important and uh, you could just uh, forget about it entirely. So um, that's the first thing. Pinnacle Station is not in Mass Effect 1. Um, I should tell you the reason too. So the reason is uh, because uh, one of uh, BioWare's, I believe, um, how do you say this? How do you say this? Um, sister company subsidiary um I, I don't know i'm not really sure about the uh, about what this comp what uh what the studio um relation to bioware is but i know it's another studio outside of bioware it's called demiurge studio um they're one of the developers for mass effect one as well so what happened was that the, Pinnac the pinnacle station dlc was developed by them and the code was corrupted or something like that so um to redo it 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 will have to be uh, starting from scratch and it's gonna take a lot of time legendary edition is gonna be pushed back uh push later push for a later release so um i don't think bioware is uh, wants to do this for their best interest so um that's very that's I, I understand what i understand where they're coming from and like i said it's a very minor dlc so i think they must have thought you know what it, it doesn't really matter too much and to me as a original player of the a player of the original trilogy i'm not really too concerned about it uh, uh, at all so yeah, that's the first news. The second thing is uh, Mass Effect 3. Now, Mass Effect 3 has had its multiplayer per content cut. Um, again, multiplayer is not really that major. Doesn't really affect storyline, doesn't really affect the single player experience, which is why uh, you play Mass Effect in my opinion. So uh, yeah, it doesn't really affect that too much. And again, it could be very much forgettable. It doesn't really have too much to um too much to well too much to do too much in the too much to intertwine with the storyline so uh, if you ask me if you're pondering um at this point like oh uh, these two are not in the, these two are not in the legendary edition the remasters do i get them i tell you you know what i tell you don't 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 uh, second guess yourself 
just get out there and get just get out there and get yourself a copy if you can afford it that's because uh like i said these two are very much forgettable and they're very minor so it's not really that important so uh yeah that's that's basically it just go out and get a legendary go, go out and get your copy of legendary edition and go back home have the best time of your life and yeah just everyone everyone wins <laughs> so uh yeah that's that's what i just wanted to bring to you about the what i've heard so far um so yeah uh, if for those of you who just wanted to hear that uh hear what's the updates and stuff like that um the video ends here for you but uh, if you want to stay for the gameplay of the original trilogy uh please do i will be continuing the play trail right after this break Okay, lots so of here we are back in the back to continue our playthrough of Mass Effect here on the channel. So uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing a couple of side quests today because I want to finish up a couple of the side quests before we move on to the next storyline mission. As you can see here, we have uh, Noveria and Ferros. So before we do that, though, we're gonna do a couple of side quests right here. Um, we have quite a few stuff like uh, as you can see here, um, Strange Transmission. Um, unusual readings and yeah um, there's two UNC missing survey team and UNC privateer so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do some of these missions uh, well in between this actual uh, major missions as you can see here so I think uh, it's in our best interest to finish most of these side quests as much as we can uh, before we move on to the next story that's because at one point if I'm not mistaken uh, we get locked out from going back to the citadel so we're gonna make a couple of uh, frequent trips uh, to and from uh, space and back to the citadel and uh, for now though what we're gonna do is we're gonna speak to Garrus right here I believe he could give us a side quest but I'm not too sure if he gives it give, gives it to us now um, that we're gonna want to do it though the side quest but uh, let's speak Come to him in. nice work out there I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSEC have you worked with the Spectre before well no but I know what they're like Spectres make their own rules you're free to handle things your way but CSEC you're buried by rules the damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. It's not the end of the world. You'll have tougher decisions soon enough. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. Okay, so that was a little chat with Garrus. Um, yeah, he didn't give us a mission there. I believe he gives us a mission, but uh, not at the moment, I believe. So uh, for now, what we're going to do though, is we're going to head back up to the uh, main deck. And we're going to go and, I believe, uh, uh, get ourselves another side quest. So, no, not get ourselves another side quest. We're going to do another side quest. You know, in terms of conversation, I'm trying to draw a sweet, a sweet spot, a fine line between, uh, well, speaking to everyone and at the same time keeping this, uh, this story going. Because I understand not everyone wants to see um, me going around for the entire 10, 20 minutes and just uh, going speak to everyone. So I'll try my best to divide that. I'll speak to necessary characters, but um, I'll try to avoid uh, spending too much time in conversation. So um, now I'll just try to draw a fine line. That's what I'm trying to say. So for now, though, let's head open to the galaxy map. I believe we have a quest. Let me just actually, you know what? Let me just double check the quest first. Um, is it this missing survey team? Hades Gamma Cluster. Um... This is what, Strenus system, I believe. This is uh, Horset Nebula, that's kind of far, I believe. Um, Antaeus system in Hades Gamma, I believe that's kind of near. Strange transmission in Hawking Edda. Um, unusual readings in Argos Row. Okay, so I think we're going to go to the nearest one for now. And we'll see what that is, depending on the galaxy map. Um, okay, so we're still in Ferrum, we're still in orbit. Let me just uh, pull out real quick, and see what we have. Mm. Okay, Hades Gamma looks very near. Um, oh, s s sorry about all that. Um, I, I I heard something very loud outside. Um, 
no, no, it, it should be fine. It should be fine. Um, okay. So as I was saying, um, yeah, we're gonna go to probably um, Hades Gamma first, I believe. Um, let's see, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna go to Hades Gamma. Hades Gamma looks the nearest. So we're gonna head to the Antaeus Cluster, as they said. Um, we're, we're gonna leave the Farinata one for now. Um, yeah, let's just go to Antaeus and do this next mission real quick. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say any more in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the Diplomat's Lounge on the Presidium. Okay, lads. So, um, yeah, we have arrived in the Antaeus system. Now, there's going to be a lot of planets here. Um, I'm going to go and do some quick surveying. Um, and what I'll do is I'll actually just cut ahead to probably uh, when we find something in, when we find something from one of these planets and uh, as well as uh, we find the planet that we could get our side quest on and I'll just uh, brief you further at the same time so yeah I'll see you in a second boys okay so we found our first gas deposit here on Atmos now um, if you recall like I've said um, not all planets can be landed on some of them are only basically... Uh, oh, this is very important um, before we do that. Uh, Matriarch's writings. You've recovered a strange object orbiting Bloba. Chief Engineer Adams and Tally tried unsuccessfully to determine its origin. They did find one of Matriarch's Dilanaga's writings stored within. Um, okay, so there are many co collectibles in the game. But if I'm not mistaken, Matriarch's writings are the most important one. You'll see, you'll see why um, when we... When, when, when we play the game further, but uh, just bear in mind that the Matriarch's writings are basically the very, the most important collectibles. The rest are pretty much, I believe, uh, not that important. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. We're just gonna check a couple of the planets, and we have another survey here, Rare, rare Element Discovered, that's fine. And... Yeah, pretty much that. Okay, so this was the planet that we could land on. As I was saying, some planets we can land on, planets with a picture. Some that do not have this picture, we can't land on them. And most of these planets that we land on, they're barren. So there's basically um, no, um, well, no buildings, no cities. It's basically a barren planet. So yeah, let's just land on this one for now. Okay, so I think we're gonna go with, uh, let's go with Rex and Garrus for this one. Um... Let me think, let me think. Um, now, I think we're gonna go with Rex and let's go with... Uh, okay, let's go with Tally, because, uh, I don't know, let's switch things up a little. Let's, let's, let's try Tally. Uh, yeah, let's try Tally. We'll, we'll, do, we'll go with Tally. Um, okay. Okay, boys, so we're on the planet. Um, basically, what we're going to do is I'm going to go explore this place a little. Um, I would I would love to show you most of the exploration gig. Um, like, you know, you can see there's a lot of uh, points of interest here. Um, I would love to show it, show them all to you. But if I do that, I'd probably be wasting too much of your time. And at the same time, um, this one episode would go on to like, what, uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes of just dis the, the, uh, discovering this one planet. So I think the best thing to do is to probably just... Uh, Cut ahead to the important bits like um, the actual side quest because some of these are actually just uh, well stuff like a salvageable salvageable material. Um, you just go up to them and you decrypt like uh, how we've always decrypt the crates and stuff like that, and you get uh, and you get more um, and you get weapons and armor and stuff. So I think we could just bypass that entirely and just go to um, the proper uh, missions, the side quests and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I'll I'll see you guys in a second. It's deserted. Great hmm, Okay, thanks for that little input there, Rex. Um, let's see, what 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 does he mean? It's deserted. Malfunctioning object. Uh, motorized joints tree. I don't know what. Um, uh, we're gonna have to take a look at that. Um, some of these uh, upgrades, these armor upgrades. Uh, to be honest, I I can't even remember what most of them do. Um, there's just so many of them, and I believe, uh, yeah, I didn't really, if I, if I recall a couple of play playthroughs, some of them I didn't really use either. I can't really remember what most of these do. Uh, but for now, let's uh, just decrypt the storage crate right here, see what we get inside. Um, Storm tree, Banshee tree, Reaper tree, that's not bad. I'm, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take it. Um, definitely I'm gonna take it. Uh, let's see what we According have. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Could be answers at the excavation site. 
Um, okay. Um, where's the excavation site? I, oh, right. It's over there. Um, okay. So I think what I'll do is uh, I just want to show you that bit, that little bit of conversation there. Um, I'm going to cut ahead and I'll meet you guys um, over, yeah, uh, soon. All right, so here we are at the excavation site, um, as you can see here. Um, we're supposed to head down here, I believe. Uh, yeah, let's just head in. Um, yeah, one thing I wanted to note is that uh, you see most of these dungeons right here. Uh, most of these dungeons are the same in terms of layout, but they have to, uh, different types of enemies. So you're going to be seeing a lot of these uh, similar dungeons uh, a lot in lots of these side quests. So yeah, um, just, uh, just, just to let you know, uh, there's going to be a lot of these dungeons that look the same, but uh, in terms of enemies, they're very, very different. So for now, um, let's just... Uh, okay, let's just... Uh, let's just wait for these uh, husks to come. We're gonna, we're gonna want them to funnel in right here. Um, they're gonna funnel in right about here. There we go. Let's try to let's try to fit them out before they get to. Holy shit! Okay. Get back. Get back. Get back. Okay. All right. There's a couple more. Fine. Should be one more. Yep. This guy's. Uh, this guy's a bit lost. Have unearthed some alien technology that turned them into mindless fanatics. Whatever they found, it's long gone now. <laughs> okay. So, um, all right. So we're gonna have to explore this area a bit. Um, there's lots of things to do. Uh, well, not lots of things to do. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this mission isn't complete until some sort of uh, uh, pop-up arrives. So we're gonna have to explore this place a bit. Um, let's see. Holy fuck! Okay, okay, okay. Jesus Christ! Good lord! Good lord, good lord, good lord! Alright, Jesus. Okay, so we're done. That accounts for all of Exogeny's survey team. They were converted to cybernetic husks by devices similar to those used by the Geth on Eden Prime. How they come to be buried on the frontier wall so far from Geth territory is a mystery. Okay, so I believe that's the mission complete. Yeah, we can check from the journal. Um, let's see what do we have. Let's see what do we have. Uh, there we go. Missing survey team complete. So yeah, that's the mission complete. Uh, I think what I'll do for now is we're gonna cut. I'm gonna go and explore this place a bit. There's gonna be a couple. Um, there's definitely gonna be a couple of crates lying around. I definitely want to collect them, get some new gear. But uh, for you guys, um, I don't think you guys want to see me do that. So what I'll do is I'll just cut ahead to the next uh, mission, which should be on a new world. If I'm not mistaken, I think we're gonna do either. Um, let's see. Uh, let's do. Okay, we might do privateers, or we might do strange transmission or unusual readings. We'll either do these two. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay lads, so here we are in the next system. Um, we've gone to Argos Row Cluster um, and we've, uh, we are in the Hydro system where we're going to do our next mission. As you can see, uh, as I was talking about earlier, Pinnacle Station. Um, let me just zoom in for you, um, just to show you what this is. Uh, it's really just one station. I just want to show it to you before we do the side quest uh, real quick. Um, there we go, Pinnacle Station. I'm not going to land on it, but I just want to show it to you. There we go, this is Pinnacle Station. You can't see anything here. But this is basically just uh, what Pinnacle Station is. We're not going to do it yet. We're going to do it later. But for now, I just wanted to show it to you. So um, that's because I want to go and do the side quest right here in the Hydro system. Um, I believe it's uh, very well. It's a minor side quest. I can't recall what planet is it on. I'm going to have to go and do lots of surveys myself. So what I'll do is I'll just cut the video ahead. And I'll meet you guys uh, when we land on the planet. And we take up the quest. Message coming in. Patching it through. General distress call. The Sacred Angel medical transport. Critical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. Argos. Communications failing. Life support. Emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. 
Huh, okay. Um, I believe this is the planet that we're supposed to land on, so we now have two quests to do, actually. Um, alright, but before we do that, let's just take a look at Canrum. I haven't scanned Canrum yet. Um, okay, we get a Turin Insignia. That's not, that's another collectible, but I don't believe that's very important. So, um, anyway, we're gonna land on Metgos. I believe we're gonna have two quests to do today. Uh, well, not today, uh, here on Metgos. So, yeah, we're gonna have to do it. But, um, for now, let's pick our side, uh, our, well, our sidekicks. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Rex and Vakarian. Because Metgos is a relatively hot world, so, um, Okay, we're gonna want we're gonna want people who are tough, I guess. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Uh, all right, let's see what this is. Argus Row Metgos. Okay, level two heat hazard. That's not good at all. Um, let's see what we have though inside uh, our quest. Uh, UNC distress is it distress call or? Um, no, not strange transmissions. Where is it? Um, it must be this, right? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I could have sworn there was. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's the same mission. All right. All right. I get it. Okay. It's the same mission. Uh, so we have to go to the down med ship in the high in the hydro system Argos. Well, we're already here, so we just have to go find this med ship. Um, okay. I tell you what, lads. I'm gonna cut the video. Um, it should be in either one of these three points right here. I'll just cut to the one that uh, has the med ship. So I'll see you guys in a second. There's a wreckage. The signal must be coming from there. Yeah, it's a trap. Oh shit! Jesus Christ! Okay, 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 okay. Screw this! Screw this! Fuck it out! Holy fuck! All right, all right, all right. Crap! 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 Jesus! Holy shit! Okay, okay, wait, wait. Um, you know, <laughs> give me, give me a second, lads. Um, let me, let, let, let me explain. Let, let me explain what happened uh, to you in just uh, one second. Let me just blast this guy so out, out of the air. Um. Okay. All right. There's another armature right there. Um, we're gonna want to deal with him first before we do anything. Um. Let's see if we could run. We could run over this guy. There we go. All right. Okay, we're done. Um, okay, so yeah, what I wanted to say was, uh, okay, so yeah, there, this this thing is a common occurrence. Uh, like you normally get uh, missions where they say there's a thing that there's something like uh, some type of uh, signal or they need help, but often the gaff and ambushes you. So um, yeah, this is kind of normal. Uh, but yeah, pretty much that. Um, that's one of the missions, um, which is uh, the 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 Argus Row mission that we that I was sick that I wanted to do earlier. Um, we could just check the, ju the journal to confirm that. Um, where is it? There we go. Distress call. Um, the Argos Row medical med ship and uh, is, is, a, is a trap set by the Gaff. So, uh, yeah, we're done with that. Uh, pretty much, um, we're done with this mission. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head into the next uh, blip, which I believe is either in um, from. Hold on a second. Let me just deal with this right. Oh crap! Come on, come on. Uh, oh, for fuck's sakes. Uh, Okay, let's 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 let me just do it. Let me just do this again. Okay, there we go. Okay, I was a bit slow there. I was a bit slow. Um, okay, so anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah, with that mission is done. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and do um, either strange transmission or um, UNC private uh, private um, or UNC privateers. Yeah, we're gonna do U uh, UNC privateers or strange transmission. So um, I'll see you guys in a second. Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise. The Alliance needs you again. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hulking Hedda Cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. I'll look into it. Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. 
They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. I'll deal with Major Kyle for you, Admiral. We don't want this to turn into a massacre, Commander. Kyle is dangerous. I trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. Okay, lads. So that was a little bit of transmission there from Admiral Hackett. Um, so yeah, this is the other uh, mission that we have to do. Um, we're gonna have to go and uh, deal with this Major Carl fellow. Uh, fortunately, I remember where he is. He's actually on this moon called Press Rob. <laughs> um, this was one of the missions that I remember. So um, we're actually gonna let they do this right off the bat. Uh, we're just gonna land, and I think what I'll do is just jump forward to. Um, this actual uh, mission. So I think we're gonna go with Rex and uh, Garrus again for this one. Okay, folks. So here we are. This is the biotic compound that we're supposed to investigate. Um, let me just pull up here. I believe we're supposed to um, go into this building first, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's see. Can we get head in there? Entrance console. Can we activate it? This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. Okay, let's play it cool for this one. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. Huh, okay. Um, yeah, I would have liked to avoid bloodshed there. Um, if I'm not mistaken, um, well, I shouldn't be telling you this, but uh, I have played this game Renegade before, and that Renegade option right there, you're going to have to get into an unnecessary firefight. Oh, um, actually, I forgot. I believe we could uh, enter this building right here, right? Um, yeah, we can. Um, unfortunately, there's only a medical kit inside. <laughs> um, okay, anyway, as I was saying, so, um, yeah, we could avoid bloodshed there, because if you go to Renegade option, you're gonna have to shoot everyone inside there, which is not what I want to do. Uh, and you're gonna have to enter here, uh, forcefully, so you're gonna have to kill everyone in this building as well, so, yeah, we're gonna want to do this peacefully as possible. So, let's enter here. And you might have noticed that I've changed my gear and so has Rex, that's because uh, I've got better armor and to be honest, I'm not really liking this color scheme, um, white and orange isn't really that good. And Rex looks super super weird in white and black, but uh, uh, it's it's better armor, so yeah, um, I, I can't really, I can't really fault that. Um, okay, so this is the this is the compound yeah if we went the renegade route that red color option the dialogue option we're gonna have to kill all these people just because we're biotics doesn't mean we don't deserve to be treated fairly um take it easy buddy <laughs> um okay so let's just uh, head through this couple of doors uh this uh, kyle fellow he should be somewhere about here if i'm not mistaken um probably in probably at the end here somewhere in here let's just grab this medical kit real quick uh, one medigel, that's fine. Um, biotic cultist, biotic cultist. Where is this uh, door? There we go. Okay, this is the door. Alright, so let's uh, go through here. I believe Kyle should be in here. Right to the... Yeah, to the right, to the right. Okay, let's go. I am Major Kyle. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you are endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. If you don't come with me, all your followers will end up dead. What kind of father lets his children die? No, this... this was my fault. My children are innocent. Pure. Please. I never meant for this to happen. I... I'm sorry. 
You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Come on. Wait. If my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack, and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. I'm gonna trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. Your pilot can have an Alliance Command Patrol pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing, Garrus. <laughs> okay, you should return to Normandy and notify the Alliance to call surrender. We'll want to dispatch a ship to take him into custody. Okay, so yeah, uh, that pretty much wraps up this mission. Um, I just wanted to make this quick and yeah, that was uh, and do it with less bloodshed as possible. Um, the thing is, you, the thing about this game is that you can't go around killing everyone. Um, the thing is, there's repercussions sometimes. So uh, I'm not gonna spoil what are the repercussions. Uh, I'm not even sure if there's a repercussion from uh, letting Major Kyle live, but um, the thing is, there's repercussions. But I'm not gonna, um, yeah, I, I'm I'm not gonna spoil anything. So it, you're gonna see if there are, if they're not. But uh, yeah, the thing is, we're gonna try to let, uh, we're gonna try to play it hero, but we're gonna do it anti-hero style. So sometimes renegade, uh, just to make sure people, uh, just to make people, uh, sometimes renegade. But uh, all for a good cause. So holy shit, we probably shouldn't have parked the Mako uh, too close. All and... down. Okay, fair enough. This is a good. Th okay, this is a glitch. <laughs> all right, whatever it is, let's get into the Mako. There we go, and we can head back to the ship and end this mission. Message coming in. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. Thank you, Hackett. Um, okay, so I think what we're going to do now is we're going to um, we're going to do this last uh, mission right here, um, which is uh, the Horsehead Nebula, the Strenus one, I believe. So um, yeah, let me just head on over to Nove to this uh, the Horsehead Nebula cluster, and we're going to start off this next mission. Okay guys, so here we are in Strenus, but um, I've run into a problem. Uh, <laughs> this is the planet we're supposed to land on, I believe. Zhaowen. Um, as you can see here, it has a, it has a, it has a picture, and uh, yeah, we, we're supposed to be able to land on this planet. But unfortunately, this button isn't appearing. So, uh, my guess is that it's probably locked out for another... Uh, not a quest or something that uh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do that first then only we could come here but I think uh, yeah we're gonna have to wait we're gonna have to hold off on that for now but I'm not gonna do we're, we're gonna have to end this episode here because we are running out of time but we're not gonna do the um, storyline missions in the next episode we're actually gonna head back to the Citadel actually let me just head back to the Citadel right now that's because uh, we're gonna want uh, look, I should probably stop talking um, just wait for this to finish Okay, as I was saying, so we're gonna head back into the Citadel. That's because we want to go pick up more side quests before we head out. And yeah, I think that's the plan for the next episode. So for now, folks, I think we're gonna end it here. I'm gonna go ahead and land on the Citadel when we go off camera. And I'm gonna continue where we leave off from there. But for now, folks, uh, we're gonna have to end the things. Uh, we're gonna have to end the video here. So if you enjoyed this episode of Mass Effect, folks, please be sure to leave a like on this video as well as hit that big red subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of my content. And I'm super, super grateful of you for staying with me until the end of this episode. And yeah, if you want to get more news on Mass Effect Legendary Edition as well, please be sure to follow uh, or follow my channel, leave a like, uh, subscribe so that you don't miss when I upload this uh, this vi uh, tomorrow's video, which I'm gonna cover more news if there's any. And yeah, you're gonna get to learn more and more about Mass Effect Legendary Edition. So uh, yeah, this is Kevlo signing off and hope to catch you tomorrow, folks. Peace.